Hi everyone, today's tutorial, we will focus on the very basics on how to generate tags in Google Ad Manager. Now there can be two different scenarios in here when you generate tags. If you want to generate the tag one at a time, you can use Google Ad Manager. But if you're going to generate tags from multiple ad units simultaneously, which we normally do if the ad units will show up on the same page, in that case, you will need to use the Ad Manager Tag Generator and Tester. Now, how do you do that on Ad Manager? So go to Inventory Ad Units and open the ad unit you'd like to generate the tag for. Go to the Tag section, choose Google Publisher Tag. If this is going to be a mobile app tag, you choose this. If it's an AMP tag, you choose this. We're going to use Google Publisher Tag and let's pretend this is for a normal website or regular display ad. Click Continue. You can enable Collapse Empty Divs here, so it doesn't take up a weird space or blank space on your site, just in case there's no advertiser to serve, no ad to serve on that ad unit, it will just collapse so it becomes invisible, like it doesn't even exist. Set up the rest of the settings as needed, otherwise you can go ahead and click on Continue. And here goes your header tag. So this goes into the header section of your page or site. And here's the body tag that you deploy where the ad is supposed to show up. Now I have a tutorial on how to deploy tags using WordPress Ad Inserter plugin. And I have the link right here. What about if in a single site, I have let's say three different ad units and they're gonna show up there at the same or on the same page load. In that case, we normally generate them all together so that they can be included or defined in a single header tag, and then they will have the corresponding body tags. Let's go ahead and use the Ad Manager Tag Generator and Tester in here, and let me show you how. First, you need to select GPT for the tag type if it's a regular display. For the network ID, go ahead and grab the network ID for your GAM account. So again, you can grab that easily on the URL. Then you can go ahead and enable advanced options in here if you want to, again, enable collapse empty divs. Here, we're going to define the ad slots one by one. So let's go back to our inventory list and let's say the first ad we will deploy or generate is this one. So copy the code, put it in here. Sizes. So for this one, it has 728 by 90 and 970 by 250. Click this plus button. Now let's go ahead and grab the information for the next ad unit we will deploy or generate the tag for. Copy the code again. Size here is 300 by 250 and fluid. Click the plus sign again. And again, let's say this is now the third ad unit we are going to generate and it's an anchor ad. Again, grab the code and the size 320 by 50. All right. Once all done, let's say you have already defined here or set up all the ad units you're going to generate the tags for. You're all set for your settings. Just go ahead and generate tags. And there it is. You will notice that you only have a single header tag for all three ad units and they're all defined in there. And for the corresponding body tags, here's for the first ad unit, the second ad unit, and the third ad unit, deploy them where the ads are supposed to show up. If you are working with a team and you need to send this code, you can just go ahead and copy the direct URL from here or right here. You can copy it by clicking on this button right here and here. Now, if you want to make any changes on the tags you generated earlier, you just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you will see everything that you have previously set up. You can make the changes in here, add more ad units as necessary, then generate the tags again, 
and it's going to give you a new page with an updated set of tags or ad units in there. For mobile apps, you just create the ad units as normal, like how you do it for a regular banner ad. And here's a tutorial right here on how to set up the ad units on Google Ad Manager. Now, how to generate it. That's where the difference is, because if it's intended for a mobile app, you go ahead and again open the ad unit, go to tags, and this time for the tag type, make sure you select mobile application tag. Then click on continue. Here is your ad unit ID. You will notice the format is very simple. It's just your network ID and the ad unit code. And then the ad unit size or sizes. How to implement it? You have to check the Android guide in here. If it's for iOS, check out the iOS guide. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the other ad units you're going to deploy. If it's for AMP or accelerated mobile pages, then for the tag type, you just select AMP tag. 